Hey everyone, Wydek here again, this time with Game 5, the last one in this series from the final of the 187th Zotac Cup. And this time on Star Station TE, we've got spawning in the bottom right, as the Orange Protoss representing Planet Key Dynamics in Germany, we've got Gung Fu Banda. There we go, it's finally focused on the center. And his opponent is spawning in the top left as the Red Zerg. Representing Team Acer and Canada, we've got Scarlet. And so this should be an interesting matchup as Scarlet was finally able to even up the series. Uh, the series is now tied 2-2. Two to two. She won Game 4 in a convincing fashion. Now, what is interesting of note is the fact that Gung Fu Panda won games 1 and 3 through two gateway proxy rushes. And he's lost both macro games. So what Gung Fu Panda is going to be doing is it'll be totally up to him. Uh, now, I don't see him going for the proxy rush. Maybe he's going for a uh, proxy cannon rush. I don't think so. I think he's just going to wall up here and put the Nexus down. And Scarlet has adapted her playstyle, going for Hatchery first instead, opting for the spawning pool first in the previous two games. Just in case, if there's going to be some early hijinks from Gung Fu Panda. And I think this is a wise choice from Scarlet. You've lost two previous games to this player. Uh, by Cheese, you want to try and prevent that. So it looks like Scarlet is going to be putting down that expansion Hatchery. And Gung Fu Panda is going to be putting down a whole bunch of pylons to block off the reinforcements. But that spawning pool is going to finish quite soon here. So Zerglings will be out and about very quickly as well. Now this cannon rush strategy is very dangerous, obviously. You either are going to make it or you're not. And it looks like Scarlet will be able to see the pylons very quickly with that Overlord. Now, Gung Fu Panda has gone for the very, very intensive cannon surround play. With the pylons blocking the ramp, uh, these uh, cannons will be able to fire on Zerglings uh, without the Zerglings being able to, to fire back. Now, at the same time, that first probe is going to go down. So now, Gung Fu Panda, I don't think the probe can get in there. So the cannons, there will be no more further cannons on the top of the ramp unless Gung Fu Panda is able uh, to get through this pylon uh, structure that he built through. And it looks like the drone is actually going to escape from Scarlet. So now Scarlet can expel, uh, build an expansion hatchery at another location. So this, so this has delayed Scarlet a little bit, but Gung Fu Panda is really, really behind. And what is Gung Fu Panda going to do now? Is he going to build pylons here to get rid of this hatchery? I'm not sure if that's going to be wise. At the same time, we do have a spine crawler in combination with one queen poking away at this pylon wall. So the pylon wall will fall, at least the first one. And actually depowers one of the cannons as well. So now the queens will be firing at that defenseless cannon. We only have one pylon here. So Gung Fu Panda is not really ahead right now. He's been able to delay Scarlet a little bit, but like I said, Scarlet also has that second hatchery going up at another location anyways. Now once this spine crawler goes down, this spine crawler has significantly more damage uh, than the cannon. And so it should be able to take down the cannons, especially in combination with transfuses. transfuses. So I think Gung Fu Panda's cannon wall will fall very shortly here. And Scarlet able to micro that spine crawl away with one life left. Very good micro by Scarlet. Scarlet's just going to have to hold back with the spine crawler for a while while it regenerates here on the creep. But it looks like Gung Fu Panda is going to have that pylon finish able to start firing away at that expansion hatchery. So actually this might work out for Gung Fu Panda. He's been able to get his own nexus up, able to wall off his his natural, and he's also been able to cause a lot of damage at this second hatchery. So Scarlet doesn't actually have a second hatchery really operating as of yet. Now Scarlet is sending four Zerglings over here. 
but I don't think the four Zerglings will be able to deal with that one cannon. And it looks like the Zerglings are going to be going for that natural base anyways. And with that second cannon up, this hatchery is not going to be able to survive. Sorry, I didn't have the production tab up. Usually I have that up right away. It slipped my mind this time. So we do have a Spire on the way from Scarlet. Zergling Speed is also half finished. And Gung Fu Panda is still stuck on gateway units. And this is very bad news for Gung Fu Panda because he doesn't know about the Spire. And he needs to get a lot of anti-air because once those Mutalists start popping out, I think it's going to be game over for Gung Fu Panda unless he can get a heavy amount of Stalkers and or Phoenixes or something out. But it doesn't look like Gung Fu Panda knows what is coming. He's been able to kind of delay Scarlet, but at the same time, he's delayed himself. And Scarlet is getting to his sec or excuse me, her uh, third and second base up. And if you take a look at resources lost, Gung Fu Panda has lost a lot more resources. And generally against Zerg players, that is not a key to success. You want Zerg players to be a lot less efficient um, cost-wise than you. Now, very interesting. Scarlet is going to be moving those spine crawlers forward to take care of this one pylon. Once this pylon is down, the cannons will be defenseless, and Scarlet can take that base as well. Now, Scarlet already has her second base up to Gung Fu Pandas too, but once this third finishes, then Gung then Scarlet will have the economic advantage. There we go. Scarlet should have the economic advantage now, and she has a 10 supply lead as well. So this is not looking good for Gung Fu Panda. Now, Gung Fu Panda is getting a Stargate, but Mutalists are already on the way. We've already got three on the map. In combination with very fast Zerglings, this could spell the end of our Protoss player. He only has one cannon at his, or two cannons at the natural, and no cannons at the main. So the probes can be very, very tasty to these Mutalists. So I don't like what's going to be happening to Gung Fu Panda. Mothership Core is going to spot the Mutalists coming in. And uh, Phoenixes are going to be warped out here as quickly as possible. But I don't think the Sentry is going to survive the onslaught from these three Mutalists. And it looks like this probe will go down as well. Now the first Phoenix is out for Gung Fu Panda. And Phoenixes are faster than Mutalists. So if you have very good micro, you can kite Mutalists. But you have to be very, very good at micro. And it looks like the Mutalists are coming back and forth. Now we do have two Phoenixes now. And it looks like one Mutalist will go down as well. So the Mutalists are going to be retreating for Scarlet. And it looks like another Mutalist will go down. So Gung Fu Panda able to stabilize. Able to take down another Mutalist. This is a big loss for Scarlet losing all these Mutalists. That's a lot of resources. Take a look, look at uh, If we take a look at resources lost, it's quite substantial. It's evened up quite a bit. And we do have Corruptors on the way, but at the same time, these Phoenixes are munching down on even more Mutalists. One Phoenix does fall, and it looks like the Phoenixes are going to back off for the time being. We have one more Phoenix moving headstrong into that third base. I'm not sure why. Gung Fu Panda is not paying attention, and it looks like he will lose that Phoenix for free. No! Able to get it away at the last moment with five life remaining. Now we are approaching the 12 and a half minute mark. Now this is not your standard 12 and a half minute game, and so therefore both players are slightly behind than they usually would be. Um, but we do have Corruptors and Mutalists out. Now we do have Void Rays soon to be joining the Air Army of Gung Fu Banda. Now Void Rays are quite good against Corruptors. Corruptors are not bad against Void Rays. So I haven't seen an air on air battle between Zerg and Protoss players in quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to see who's going to come out on top. Now, while I am saying that, it looks like the Phoenixes are going to be moving around looking for some drones to feast on. But with those defenses and corruptors, the Phoenixes are going to have to back off. At the same time, Scarlet is getting her fourth base up. And she has built a 25 supply advantage over her Protoss opponent. Gung Fu Panda is still stuck on two bases and is slowly moving out of his natural. He's going to have to get his third up and running very quickly here, or he's going to fall behind by too much, and I think he'll end up losing the game. So Gung Fu Panda is slowly advancing. 
We do have Zerglings on the map, able to give away the position to Scarlet. And Scarlet is just upgrading and constantly building more and more airiness. Three more Corruptors and three more Mutalists on the way. And a lot of spine crawlers are going up. The creep tumors have notified Scarlet that there is an incoming invasion and moving two spine crawlers to the middle between the second and those third bases. And Scarlet is going to be moving forward to meet Gung Fu Panda on the creep. Now Gung Fu Panda is on the creep. The mothership core is doing not much actually. Two time warps do go down, but there's not a lot of ground units for Scarlet. The corruptors are focusing down on those Phoenixes. A lot of Phoenixes do. Finishes do fall, but the Stalkers are going to be able to charge more, able to take down a Queen, but with those Spine Crawlers, looks like Gung Fu Panda is going to fall back just a little bit, just slightly out of range, but the Zealot is taking a brunt of that Spine Crawler damage, and now the Corruptors don't have much to fight against. There are no air units, but the Stalkers, in combination uh, against those Drones, Mutalists, and Zerglings, it looks like the Stalkers are going to have a difficult time. Stalkers are not very good against Drones, and those Drones are providing quite a big buffer wall for those Zerglings and Mutalists and Gung Fu Panda all his stalkers are falling very quickly here we do have a smaller army at the south at the southern portion of the map and they are moving north but look at the supplies Gung Fu Panda is down by half and he's gonna GG so Scarlet is gonna win game five takes the series three games to two interesting I I, I you know I really thought that Gung Fu Panda would do a proxy. I didn't think he'd do the gateway proxy. I thought, he, or uh, the cannon proxy. I thought he would gateway proxy again. Because it worked for game one and it worked for game four. Uh, sorry, game three. And I thought he would do it again. So the only two wins for Gung Fu Panda are the two gateway proxy wins in games one and three. All the macro games go to Scarlet game two, four, and five. So Scarlet is the champion of the 187th edition of the Zotac Cup. So congratulations to her. A great set of games by both players. And I hope you guys found it entertaining. And I hope to see you guys next time.